Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, it's a 32 inch Deos LED TV. Here in this TV, the problem is standby. Here you can see the TV is not releasing from the standby. Here actually this fault is mainly because of due to this faulty main processor IC while checking here we found that this IC is overheating so there are two methods to repair one method is replacing this IC and another method is replacing with an alternate motherboard you can see it's a combo board with built-in SMBS so here I'm going to install this alternate combo board instead of this so to install this alternate board first we need to remove this faulty motherboard from the TV cabin so let us start to install it first by removing the old faulty motherboard from the TV See friends, now we screwed this alternate board. Here you can see a small he hole here. It is because of the empty space of audio input jack that used in old motherboard. Here you can see a small difference in the LVDS cable also. Here you can see there is a hole missing in this LVDS cable. See friends, it's ground connection. So we need a small modification. We need to bend that pin to install this LVDS cable. Otherwise, we need to change the LVDS cable. So we need to bend that that pin to install this LVDS cable. It's ground connection. There is no hole for that pin in this LVDS cable that's why we need to bend it otherwise we need to replace with another LVDS cable. This is the default LVDS cable that comes with the previous original motherboard. So friends now the LVDS cable is installed and connected it properly. Now all sockets are connected. Now let us turn on the TV.
Hey friends, you can see the red light. Now let us release this TV from the standby. See friends, now the TV is released from the standby and here you can see the backlight. See friends, now the picture comes. So, this board is working perfectly with this TV. Here you can see the mirror image and mapping is also correct. So, in this situation, now we can put the back cover and our screws back to TV. See friends, finally, here you can see, now the TV is turned on. So, the TV is repaired successfully. Now, after changing the backlight, I am going to enter into a service mode for reducing the backlight to increase the backlight lifetime. Here you can see menu 1147 is the service mode code. Go to function. In function here you can see backlight. In default the backlight will be in 100. Also I turn on the power on mode so the TV will be automatically turned on whenever the TV is plugged in. Without, the, without using the remote the TV will power on automatically. Here to increase the lifespan of the lifetime of the LED backlight, we need to keep the backlight level between minimum 50 to maximum of 60 percentage. So that's it. Now the TV is repaired successfully. Thank you for watching.